Hey guys, welcome back to Hemlock Ridge. Uh, today, um, I'm gonna be doing some work on the property. We've had some wind storms and some trees blow down and I'm gonna be opening up some forest roads that got blocked. Uh, but the sun has come out for the first time in two months. No more gray skies. It is absolutely gorgeous to see the blue sky. And what a great day to check out the newest tech in portable foldable solar that you can now bring anywhere. That's coming up right here on Hemlock Ridge. I didn't think it could ever happen. It has been cloudy and overcast and gray for like almost two months. And this morning the clouds parted and the sun came out for the first time. It is amazing to see blue sky again, absolutely beautiful. And I will take it. Early February, cold, just about freezing out. Uh, but with the sun, it feels great. And it's a great day to go ahead and get some work done, but also to test out my new portable solar panels now that there's some sun. So uh, I'm gonna be cleaning up the property a little bit today. We've had some really bad windstorms and I find that uh, there's always something to do here when you've been away for a little while. I have uh, three trees that have blown down and uh, blocked some of the different forest roads and things like that I have on the property. So I wanna thank All Powers for sponsoring today's video. They've sent me the uh, 200 watt portable suitcase solar panel to test out here. And if you like what you see, I'll go ahead and put a discount code in the description uh, so you can check it out on their website as well, too. Uh, they have these solar panels as small as 60 watts all the way up to an amazing 600 watts of foldable portable solar panel power. Uh, they also have their whole line of other equipment, such as solar generators and power stations as well. So uh, feel free to check them out. And thank you for sponsoring the channel. Now, what's so cool about these panels is you can now take solar anywhere you go. These are so portable, they fold up really small, really to the size of a suitcase. Uh, they're about two feet wide by 20 inches high when they're folded up, uh, weigh less than two gallons of milk, so not very heavy to carry. And now you can take solar wherever you go, whether that's camping, to your off-grid property, to the beach, to a kid's sporting game, uh, even having them at home for emergency preparedness. You can just set these up wherever you are, hook them up to uh, your solar generator, to a battery, uh, to charge electronic devices and you will be set because uh, these these really work really nice. Now what I like about these panels is they're really easy to unfold. Uh, when you unfold them they will uh, fold out to almost seven feet in length and they've got integrated kickstands right in them. They're velcro to the back with um, elastic cords on them. You pull them out it gets the panel right to the right angle so that you can hit the sun. And I see that they even thought of putting um, these tethering straps on here as well, too, or tethering loops, so that if you want to bring some tent stakes and some guy wires because it's going to be windy, you can go ahead and tether this down so if you get a strong windstorm, it just doesn't blow the panel over. Um, everything you need is on board. So what I can see here is there's an integrated carrying pouch, and in that pouch is almost every single adapter you can think of to connect these panels to a storage or power consumption device. So the panels have MC4 connectors, which are very standard for solar panels. You've got a positive and negative there. And then from there, there's all kinds of adapters. Uh, so first and foremost, there is a dongle if you wanna connect uh, this to a DC input, for instance, on your solar generator. Uh, almost every size tip you can imagine is included. Um, also, it has battery clips. You can actually directly charge a battery. So if you are out and you've got a trolling motor on your boat, you wanna hook it up to some juice, you can do that as well. It's not recommended that you leave that connected for too long because if you're going directly from solar into the battery, uh, there is no voltage regulator there. You could actually overcharge your batteries. Uh, but there is a number of different other connectors on here as well too. So again, depending on what you're using this with, um, there's an adapter for almost everything to connect it here. Now it is early in the year it is early february so the sun is still low on the horizon it's not very strong it's late in the afternoon 
And you can see here how much power I'm actually generating right now with those conditions, which is pretty impressive. Again, this panel will do up to 200 watts. You can get a panel that will do up to 600 watts and is still foldable and portable um, through all powers. So earlier today, I tried this out when the sun was a little higher in the sky and I was getting over 155 watts of input into my solar generator. So really, uh, really impressed with this. And I think uh, this is going to be something I'm going to be using for a long time just because of the portability, uh, the utility of it, and the fact that you don't need to have a noisy gas generator with fuel now everywhere you go. You can simply get one of these power stations, pair it with one of these foldable, portable suitcase solar panels, and you are good for a weekend or longer, uh, whether it's powering your personal electronics, powering your portable fridge, powering your... Uh, RV, keeping the battery stopped off, uh, charging equipment um, around your homestead, this will do it all for you. So I'm going to let this uh, continue to charge up my power station for a while, and I'm going to go tend to some of these trees that have blown down um, over the winter through some of these windstorms. So hope you'll stick around, and uh, we'll go ahead and get that taken care of. So whenever you have a tree hung up like this, you gotta be really careful. It can go a little sideways. Luckily, this uh, wasn't too big of a tree. But what I like to do too, when I cut these trees down that have uh, fallen or blown over, is actually use them to make some natural landscaping and a natural curb along the forest road. So um, I figure if I can make uh, fewer cuts, it's better for me. Um, less wear and tear on the saw and the chain. And then I can go ahead and just lay these uh, trees right along the side of the forest road and it gives it a nice uh, definition, a little bit of a natural uh, curb. And of course, I've always got a lot of these vines to deal with too. That's probably what helped pull this tree over to begin with, but uh, you can see this has opened up now and, and really nice. And on the second project here, this was on the other side of the property, uh, this is actually a really nice tree. I think it's a maple. Um, a little bit hard to tell, but this was really nice wood. And you might be wondering, why am I not using this for firewood? Well, I might come back in the spring or summer and cut this up smaller, bring it back, split it up, because this is really nice wood. Uh, but I've also got so much wood near the cabin that I really don't need to be hauling wood way across the property back to the cabin because I've got plenty of trees there that are um, either blown over or falling over and more firewood than I can use. But again, here I'm uh, going to lay layer this out so I've got some natural definition here to the forest road and this one is all cleaned up as well too. And then I left the hardest one for last. Uh, this was a, a pretty big blowdown. I think this is a beech tree. If you know by looking at the bark, let me know. This is a huge tree. Can't really see it's hung up a little bit and so i gotta be really careful with this one uh, but this is uh, a lot of wood and a really big top that landed right in the middle of the road so i am going to just take some of these bigger pieces lay them off to the side try to get this cleared up and again i might come back in the spring and use some of this for firewood because this is uh, also pretty nice wood All right, if you ever wanna beat the gym, just go ahead, spend some time clearing a tree that fell down. It is quite the workout. Uh, I've got a lot of wood here. I'll probably cut it up in the spring when I've got uh, some time to get a vehicle back here like a tractor. Right now though, I'm gonna get going because the sun is ready to go behind the ridge and when it does, it's gonna get dark back here really quick and I've got a pretty far way uh, to get back to the cabin. So uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully we'll see you back here on Hemlock Ridge. If you like what you saw today, hit the like button. Uh, if you have any questions or would like to see something on the channel, please leave me a comment. I try to get back to everybody, and hopefully we'll see you back here outdoors on Hemlock Ridge.